All right, the recording has started. All right, perfect. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor manager meeting for Wednesday, November 29th. Online with me is City Attorney Tamara Niles, uh, Deputy City Clerk Sarah Harkness, City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, City Manager Sean Lewis, Deputy City Manager Tim Dodd, and Mayor Pro Tem Steve Ward. Sean, if you want to kick us off. Thanks, Mayor. We will start with the December 4th meeting. Um, we'll mm -hmm. have uh, the October 23rd monthly financial report. Um, but but actually, we should start with um, this will be the swearing in of the mm -hmm. new council members. So our plan was to um, go ahead and let's see, do minutes, I believe. Stephanie, do you do you have yeah, a schedule have, in front of you that yeah. you and Krista worked on? Yeah, so we talked about calling the meeting to order, mm -hmm. roll call of current council, mm -hmm. uh, approval of the minutes, and then a recess to a uh, maybe a 30 minute, 30 ish minute reception, which would be for outgoing members as well as incoming members. Okay. So kind of a reception and then. Break from that, go back in, reconvene and then do the swearing in the mayor and mayor pro tem selection, the seating arrangement, and then by then it would be a 7 p.m. start for the regular meeting. And then that's where I think if we're doing the study session, it should go. Uh, it's just awkward to maybe put that at the beginning with the current council. <laughs> right, I kind of see that. Um... <clears throat> Why the 30 minute recess? Is it just to just kind of like a just, just talk? Just, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah exactly. There, there's the word. Okay. Um, okay. I, I mean, that certainly will... that is that is your your all decision. We kind of blended what we've done in the past because we used to have to create a buffer of time, but I yeah. do know you still like to start the regular meetings technically with public comment, all of that around seven as just a, a general practice. Yeah, we are happy to uh, we're happy to coordinate this in any in any way. But, you know, uh, <laughs> we just have to keep in mind we have time for swearing in mm -hmm. time for the selection of mayor, mayor pro tem and seating arrangements. OK. Yeah, for what it's worth, I, I did receive an inquiry on when public comment will actually occur. Um, so I, I think that's kind of the thing that affects the schedule most for me is taking public comment. So based on this calendar or this timing, it, it sounds like the public comment would be closer to like 710 or so. Do I got that right, Stephanie? Yeah, and also I don't know if the if that study session has to go on this meeting either. Um, I know the next meeting, the 11th, has several study sessions, but this one typically is a 10 yeah. minute item. So if yeah. it doesn't maybe even make sense, perhaps we can move it. But Sarah, you could weigh in if that's not able to be moved or Sean. I know this one was moved already once, and I think they're eager to get it going, but I could definitely talk to them. The other mm -hmm. thing to keep in mind is we have the student art calendar recognition this night, so that'll take a bit of time as well um as the students will be coming but okay there's okay. also the thing that says we have to do the um october financial report in study session we could also do that just as a regular item right okay all right i think well i'm okay leaving it in um as is Cool. Steve, any any concerns there? I'm no concerns. I just would like to stick as much as possible to the yeah. seven o'clock schedule for public comment. Uh, so noting that if you think that this schedule allows us to do that, then I'm OK with it. Well, it wouldn't be it would be closer to looking at the recognitions. It looks like we have. Four recognitions, one proclamation. Can we go down? And then, yeah, so we have five items before we get to public comment. So that that actually does push us back quite a bit. All right, well, let, let's let's go through the items and then we'll just see, in, including next week's, and then I'll see whether or not it makes sense for us to push it to the week after. Starting to look that way, though. Sounds good. 
All right, so the next item after the monthly financial report is a resolution establishing city council holiday meeting schedule, um, recognition of student art council or artist recognition, uh, recognition of city attorney Tim Niles for receiving designation of local government fellow, uh, swearing in of the new council members and reception placeholder, mm -hmm. uh, bill of rights day proclamation, renewal of contract for custodial services for city uh, facilities with uh, regional facility management. This is marked as consent question mark. Um, this is the second renewal. Uh, not not any big changes on this. Mm -hmm. Is it all right to keep that on? Is it the same company we've been with? Yeah, I would say yes, but I can see this getting pulled. But I'd okay. like to keep it on consent. Okay, and then motion to approve contract with AEC West. This is the same company that helps us with mm -hmm. land review inspection. Yep. We get them every year, so I'm fine with keeping that on consent. Okay. Uh, ordinance amending municipal code regarding administrative appeal procedure. Tamara and I have a discussion um, going on that one. We'll let you know if that one stays on. Mm -hmm. uh, Dry Gulch IGA amendment. Um, thoughts on that consent item? I was going to say not much came of that one from. Because this is just an IGA. Um, not, not came, not much came up during the water and sewer on that one. I'm trying to think of which one the South Inwood Basin one was. Trickle South Inwood Basin. It's an idea as well. I'm fine keeping them both on consent because I don't think much came up both from the water and sewer. But any thoughts, Steve, on any of those four consent? <clears throat> no, I say leave them. Okay. And Sarah, if you could pass on that, we're having a little trouble. Determining exactly what those are with the lack of description. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I think that that's really all it is, <laughs> Sean. The, the dry gulch is just the, uh, uh, yeah, I do recall it's the Santa Fe, what's it called? Yeah, Santa Fe mineral area. So, but yeah, it's not much context on that one. All right, cool. All right. So, do you want to, um, anything else on December 4th? No, I, but I'm I'm thinking it's like the flow is a little weird um, to have that as an item, study session item based on the night. I'm I'm leaning towards pushing it to the 11th, even though we have like a shorter night on the 4th. Just a weird flow. We're talking about the October financial report. Yeah, exactly. Unless we just want to do it as, you know, like you said, as part of the regular after the fact, so Let, let's just move to the 11th, but. OK. Um, moving on to. Let's see, December 11th, Council <clears throat> Liaison Board and Commission Selection. Let's see, did I miss interviews? No, no, this is oh, just oh, us liaison. picking who we're, yeah, who we're, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yes, uh, you missed the interview, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I voted. Um, study session on proclamation <laughs> review, the annual review yep. of those, development fee, impact fee study session, review and discuss proposed city attorney ethics manual, excuse me, tree protection ordinance uh, study session. Okay. Any questions on oh, those? Do you want to go no, ahead and times to uh, those? No, but I'm just looking at it. Uh, Steve, are you good with putting the financial report on the 11th? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, it doesn't look too heavy. Yeah, there's nothing really big there except for the ethics one, but all right. Cool. <clears throat> On December 18th, we have, um, and by the way, I think this was the night that we were thinking of the. Uh, yep, it is. Holiday. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I missed it. Um, yeah, the holiday dinner at Indici. And then. Um, after that, we'll have a study session on library staffing and hours discussion and a resolution regarding the pre presiding judge's salary, mm -hmm. associate judge re uh, reappointment, uh, award of a contract to HTR Inc. for design of the South Broadway Complete Streets Project, water resources support agreement renewals, amendments to McBroom Ditch Company bylaws, and IGA with Denver Water for emergency interconnects. Questions on those? No, those are all very familiar from water and sewer. So, all right. Okay. Um, moving on to 
the January 8th meeting, we'll have the November monthly finance report. Budget supplemental number one, designation of official posting place for legal notices. Professional services agreement for Jacob with Jacobs Engineering Group for final design of Denver Water Interconnect. Update to Parks Rec Golf Library fees and amended 2024 rate and fee schedule. Okay. All right. On January 15th, study session recommended modifications to contract approval process. Uh, December 2023 monthly financial report. Public hearing uh, zoning 2023-002 amendment to plan unit development. And that is for the uh, Union Waste Management Denver South Transfer Station. Questions on those. Going on to January 22nd, we'll have boarding commission interviews and then another night for boarding commission interviews as needed. Okay. That can you go? Can we go back up to the 16th real quick? So we had de December financial. Where was the November financial? Because aren't we doing the October fine? Is that the one that we keep pushing? Is the October one? All right. Then okay. So November is what is January eighth. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. I know you guys have to covered. And then can I look at that PUD one again? It doesn't seem like a like a typical PUD, it's just one for Which the transfer one was station. That? It was oh, on the 18th oh, or whatever. It was. Okay. 6th, 15th. Oh, here it Resident is. The planning and the development, waste <laughs> management. Okay, self transfer station. Okay. And Mary, this is one precipitated by the, you know, their their facility burning down. Right. Um, their holding facility at waste management. And they're really re reconsidering the whole, the whole site. Okay. I think we have more um, Littleton okay. residents affected than Inglewood. Okay. Can we go up one then? What was the one right about that? No, oh, no, no. You're back on the 16th. So, okay. wait, is this so? So, are we turning this into a regular meeting then? A special meeting to do the public hearing? Yes, we'll have to do that. And then scroll down. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah, because I'm looking at how many because we have to have the two meetings and then the following week is a study session. Study session. And then do we have a meeting? That's a fifth Friday, isn't it? January. Sorry, I'm just trying to do the math. I think I'm fine with it. I'm just trying to make sure that we have two meetings. So it okay. looks like we do, but we're making the 16th a special meeting. Um, actually, Mayor, the 16th would be an already scheduled regular meeting. Um, okay. The the resolution that we're presenting on December 4th would designate January 8th as the um, regular, the first regular meeting for the month because we're proposing to cancel the January 1 meeting. Okay. So then we would follow the regular schedule, which would be January 16th, the second regular meeting, the next Monday, the study session, and then it's a fifth Monday, so no meeting. All right, got it. Thank you so much for that. All right, I'm good with it. Thanks, Tamara. Um, anything else from you, Sean? No, I don't believe so. All right, anything else from staff? I don't have anything. All right, Mayor Potem, you got anything? I'm good, thank you. All right, I think we're good. All right, everyone, that concludes today's mayor-manager meeting. Everyone have a great day. You too. Thanks, everyone. Bye.